Welcome back to the channel guys and on this week's episode we're back again at Tommy Sale Training Day. I always watch Powered by Pies, don't forget to subscribe. Well, we're back at a Tommy Sill training day. It's been about two years since I've been on it. Um, I've, I did have a cowie, but uh, here he is. He's coming in on it now. <laughs> so Tommy's just nipped my bike, because uh, it's a cowie, so obviously it has to be on a cowie. Um, so yeah, it's been two years since I've been on a Tommy Sill training day. Uh, back when I was on a Honda, he was on a Honda, maybe I just follow him. I learnt a lot then two years ago, the video went really well, so I thought, you know what, let's do another vlog, see if he's still got it, see if he still knows how to teach, or if he's just making millions of quid. Nice bike this one. Is it alright that? Green one, yeah. Goes well. You buy one of them yourself. A bit, um, a bit rip, a bit like, like it hadn't ever been opened up, a bit fluffy <laughs> on the bottom. It was smoking down there. Yeah, but I've cleared it out. <laughs> Get yeah, go on, put it on the stand. Yeah, I think third was a bit Made stiff, a bit, but it's, it's, it's getting into it. Was third, it's sort of need clearing out. But once it got in, yeah, it's freed it up. Yeah. It's like it would never been in third gear before. Um, I'll just do a little briefing now while the kids are out on track. Uh, how the day will work is they're out for 15 minutes, then it'll be you guys out for 15 minutes just to warm up and then it'll be 30 to 40 minutes on, 30 to 40 minutes off throughout the whole day. And standing position is going to be where you are when you're attacking a section, um, breaking into a section, when you get out that seat and you're attacking the bumps. On the foot pegs, feet facing forward, it sounds simple, but a lot of you are going to ride like that throughout there today. Having your feet flat, close up to the frame, allows you to grip the bike a lot easier with your knees, which is the goal today, rather than being here, on the heels of your feet with your knees facing forward. What? Right, so a bit of body positioning there um, with Tommy. So it's time to get out and do a bit of practicing. I see if you listen, eh? Doubt it. <laughs> We're okay, clothing, motocross kit. What have we got here, Lofty? Uh, samples for next year's stuff, basically. Full camo. Out, so. oh. Look at this. Woo! Get on that next year. Meant to say as well, big shout out to POA today. Um, got new tyres, new chain and sprockets. Those guys hooked me up, so big thanks to them. Put the link in the bio for uh, Tom. He'll sort you out with all your gear that you need for motocross. Look at this monster athletes. Athletes, he's got a better helmet than you, mate. He's actually won races this year and all. <laughs> Fucking Tommy left it in gear. Right, we're at, uh, let's say we're at Preston Docks today. Uh, we're down at the sand track, the main track will be shut because of the weather. Used to love this place, it's a shame it closed, but it's back opening again. I think it's about a million pounds to um, ride, but uh, the facility's off. I've just realised I didn't do pressure in my tyres, the rock hard. But just for going out there today, we'll just, uh, we'll be alright. Oh, this looks lovely. Oh, shit. Rad. Oh, it's a nice little track, this. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit, shit. That is a rock hard. Right, so just been out for a bit of a practice, get used to the track. Track is brutal already, um, but nice, lovely track to uh, ride. I can see why it's a million quid to ride it. Yeah, so we just got warmed up. Kids are out now, they're learning. We're gonna just chill, then hopefully do some learning ourselves. So yeah, we'll see you in a minute. Where's these tea and coffees that are provided anyway? They're in 
in that blue, uh, where you're parked, that hut on the left. I got the pies in there. <laughs> We'll just go now, back out, um, do four <coughs> laps, and I'm going to stop everyone, and then we're going to work this half of the track. So you're going to cut through there, but first off, go get warm, do four laps, um, and then I'll stop you all, and then we'll go over this section, okay? <laughs> A new one. That's going well, mate. <laughs> Keep that in. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Cheers, mate. you take your feet off try and side you're letting your hip drop a little bit and then when something does go wrong you hit that bump all your weight goes down it's, when something does go wrong it's naturally going to come back okay so a section like this i want you standing up so at least the red toe all right let's go then <laughs> Quite good actually. Thought I was alright. You need to bring your head forward a touch. Forward? What you do is you ride like there, your knees are slightly further forward. Every time you get on the power, it looks like the bike's fucking trying to get away from you and you passenger hold on. Okay, so from there you can turn them knees back. Sideways, you're going to go with it and then it's going to come back. Two people just have big crashes, exact same thing happened. <laughs> so, what you're saying is, you're going to have a big crash. <laughs> but yeah, go back, grab a drink. No, cut the laps and I'll send you back. Grab a drink, right? But focus on that. <laughs> You right, mate? Yeah. Right guys, we've done. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> right guys, uh, had a big off then in that session, so shoulders a little bit in. But we're gonna go back out now. Got Dan Bewley, GP rider here, messing him out with the tire. Probably gonna miss this session. He's gonna miss this session. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get kitted out, go back out again, and hopefully not crash. So coming for the last session now. Um, my GoPro died just before I went out, left it on, didn't I, in van? It's freezing cold, GoPro batteries don't last. So, 
That session, uh, the second session, I actually learned quite a lot uh, with my body positioning. Tommy went through it with me. Um, turns out it's, it's a little bit wrong, which is why. I do tend to have quite a few moments. It was uh, good to get the tips off Tommy. Obviously, learning a new body position, it was quite weird, but I did feel like I didn't lose the front end as much, so definitely worth it. So let's go for uh, session number three. Looks like I'm late. Right, go on then and cut the laps, I'll walk down there and then we'll <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. That was dodgy. <laughs> I try, I'm trying to do it like my back's like. Yeah, because you're not used to it, but it's much better. And I watched you come into that left hander up there. Arse is back, head was forward, knees were back further. You look more stable, but it will feel a lot harder on the hamstring. So it won't take long to feel comfortable. I'm like, you would just be so much safer. <laughs> right, do you think I'm dangerous? <laughs> oh! 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 Fucking hell. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, shit. <laughs> Content, but dangerous rider. <laughs> just your things happen so quick. Yeah. Like you just go, Whoa! <laughs> Where, because you're in the wrong position. My right hand doesn't match my ability. Yeah, you want to go too fast with your ability. Not your ability, because it's like you're comfortable. You're too comfortable going that speed with that style. Yeah. You can, but you're. You won't get faster than where you're at. Where if you just take a step back, do things right, you're then feet position, looking forward and allowing the bike to come into you. Head might go a bit further forward as you get on the power and then back. Okay? Let's give it a go. Well that is the training day done, um, brutal track, absolutely brutal, my shoulder is killing as well, I'm not going to lie, um, so probably I haven't got any faster I would say today, but I've definitely got more tips on how to stay in control of the bike, which ultimately like Tommy said will make me faster, so I'm hoping to improve on that a little bit more and yeah, hopefully ride a little bit safer, um, which will help, obviously no crashing. So yeah, uh, I've had a good day. Tommy spent a bit of time with you. Matty spent a bit of time with you as well? Yeah, yeah, it's been good. Um, so yeah, it's, to be fair, if you think Docks was 60 quid to ride here, near enough, it was 120 to the, for the day, so 60 quid for uh, for a training day. Obviously, if you go somewhere that's 40, it's like 70. It's pretty good value for money, really, considering, not to lick his arse, but Tommy is British champion, second in the world one year. He's probably Britain's best rider or one of Britain's best riders so fantastic day don't forget you guys if you really like this one mean a lot if you could subscribe I'm only 40 away from finally being monetized and I can buy a brand new full factory KXF 450 until then see you later guys go on lad <laughs> I can't even do it go on him what have I got to say I always watch Powered by Pies yeah don't forget to subscribe I always watch Powered by Pies, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>